In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We are now on the fourth Sunday of Advent. Brothers and sisters, coming together as God's family on this last Sunday of Advent, let us humbly ask the Lord's forgiveness of our past sins and the grace to be always ready to cooperate with Him. Lord Jesus, you constantly invite us to work with you in carrying out the Father's plan, but we often hesitate or even refuse to cooperate with you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were always intent on doing the Father's will, but we prefer to do our own will. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Emmanuel who brings the Father's love to us, but we often ignore your presence. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. It was part of God's plan of salvation that the Messiah is a descendant of King David. Please be seated. Such a plan will be carried out even if some people like the proud king Ahaz, refused to cooperate with him. <clears throat> Such is a message coming to us through the famous Emmanuel prophecy we are about to hear. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary, my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the Lord enter. Let the are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter, Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter his king of glory. He 
shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. The essence of the Messiah from King David was also emphasized by the Apostle Paul as we gather from these opening sentences of his letter to the Romans. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God which he promised previously through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. The gospel about his son descended from David according to the flesh, but established a son of God in power, according to the spirit of holiness, true resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him we have received the grace of apostleship, to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the Gentiles, among whom are you also who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all the beloved of God in Rome, called to be holy. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. <laughs> the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention, when behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophets. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mga kapatid, sino kaya sa atin dito ang walang takot? Sino kaya sa atin dito ang walang pagdududa? Sino kaya sa atin dito ang hindi nag-aalindangan, walang pangamba, hindi naghihinala? Kung yung katabi nyo nga ngayon ay hindi nyo kilala, palagay ko meron kayong pagdududa. Sino kaya itong katabi ko? Baka utangan ako nito. Baka abangan ako mamaya nito paglabas ko. 
Kung kakilala mo naman, baka sabihin mo, baka paglabas ko mamaya, mamarites ako. Natural mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, ang may duda, pangamba, hinala, pag-aalinlangan, takot. Sa ating Ibanghelyo, hindi sinabi kung si San Jose ay may pangamba, pagdududa, o hinala. Ang binanggit lang dito, hindi nga siya nagsalita, sa pamagitan ng mga salita ng anghel, siya ay may takot. Sabi sa kanya, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Palagay ko may pagdududa din siya, kahit hindi binanggit. Sino halimbawa sa mga lalaki dito, may girlfriend pa lang. O di kaya may asawa, matagal sa abroad. Pagbalik na lamang, buntis yung asawa niya. Hindi kaya kayo magtatanong, sino kaya tatay nito? Hindi kaya kayo maghihinala, akin ba to? Hindi kaya magdududa, baka sa driver ko to, baka sa janitor ko to, baka sa cook ko ito. Ano kayo gagawin niyo? nalaman yung hindi inyo ang anak, ang binubuntis ng boyfriend nyo, girlfriend nyo, sorry boyfriend, girlfriend nyo, o asawa nyo. Baka tulad ni Jose, magbabalak din kayo. Buti nga siya, silently, ang plano niya, ihiwalayan si Maria, baka kayo, patayin nyo asawa nyo, magwala pa kayo. Ipatokhang nyo pa yung lalaki. Pinapakita sa atin, mga kapatid, sa plano ng Diyos, kahit sino pinipili niya. Dito may takot si Jose. Narinig natin sa ibang bahagi ng Biblia, Ibanghelyo, si Maria may mga tanong din. Narinig natin sa mga accounts, no? Ang tanong niya halimbawa sa angel, How can this be? Since I do not know man. Walang nangyari sa amin ni, ni Jose. Paano ito mangyayari? Asa mga susunod na araw, maririnig natin si Zacarias magtatanong din sa anghel, matanda na, magkakaanak pa. May pagdududa. May napansin ba kayo? Ang pinili ng Diyos, kahit na sila'y matuwid, sinabi dito, kahit si Maria ay puno ng grasya, may mga tanong pa rin. How much more for us and to us? Kaya wag po kayo magtaka kung isang araw nararamdaman nyo tinatawag kayo ng Diyos na maglingkod sa Kanya in any way. Sa simbahan, sa lipunan, sa school, sa inyong BEC, sa inyong office, sapagat para sa Panginoon, ang Kanyang pagpili, tulad ng kanta, maging sino ka man. Gagamitin at gagamitin tayo ng Diyos Baliwala ang ating kasalanan. Remember, Jesus chose 12 disciples and one of them was a traitor. Yung katabi mo, baka Judas yan. Don't worry. It happens. In the church, we have these people. Sa simbahan, may mga paring lumalabas, nag-aasawa, Obispo, religious, sa pamilya, mga magulang nag-aaway. And yet, the call is there. We are not perfect. God knows that. Kaya huwag tayong mangamba kapag kapakiramdam natin merong pagtawag ang Panginoon sa atin. Kaya dito sa simbahan, Palagay ko at pananampalataya ko, lahat tayo tinawag. Tinawag na magsamba. Walang pinipili. Saan man ang galing? Sang lupanop ng bansa, ng mundo. Lahat ay tinatawag ng Panginoon. Sa templong ito, sa basilikang ito, at isa ang common sa atin, lahat tayo makasalanan. ay mo aminin? Kung yung walang kasalanan dyan, singa, mag itaas nga yung kamay, wala kang kasalanan, papatayin kita agad. Ba't tayo nandito? We are called by God to worship Him together as a church, as a family. We are a church. 
Kaya po mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, huwag tayong magduda sa kakayahan ng Panginoon na tumawag sa atin. Siguro may pagdududa sa kakayahan natin na tumagon sa kanyang hamon, sa kanyang tawag. But like Joseph, Mary, and the other people in the Bible, put your trust in God. He trusts you so much. He trusts us all. Katandaan sa araw na ito, sabihan natin sarili natin, Lord, maglilingkod ako kahit makasalanan ako sapagkat ang iyong pagmamahal ay tulad uli ng kanta, maging sino ka man. O sabihan mo yung katabi mo ngayon, sundan niyo ako, kapatid! Sabihan niyo ako, kapatid! Maglingkod ka sapagkat kahit ganyan ang mukha mo, mahal ka ng Diyos, maging sino ka man. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith so we all say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, who will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life, the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Lord constantly invites us to be his partners in the implementation of his plan. Aware of our weaknesses, let us plead for his help as we say, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the church may fully trust in God, especially in times of trial, and be constantly faithful to him. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all those in a position of authority in the church may always offer a shining example of cooperation with the Lord in carrying out His plan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That the policy makers of our society may always plan activities that are fully in accordance with God's law. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That our youth may plan their future after discerning God's will through prayer and with the guidance of wise persons. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all of us who are participating in the Simbangabi may be faithful to our commitment to cooperate in the fulfillment of God's plan. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, grant us the grace to imitate the example of Saint Joseph and make our lives a faithful instrument of your plan. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for I could and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give your thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles and the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, I graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer his other the sign of peace. Peace with you.
Behold the Lamb of God, beholding who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The word and not worthy, they should, you should enter into my room. But, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat. Sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion, bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, Pakibamba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ang inyong dalawang kamay ang hostile at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostile. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng hostile upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's Nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw sa Basilika at sa inyong aktibong pakikisa sa Banal na Misa. Naway sa inyong pag-uwi, bitbit nyo ang mga biyaya ng Diyos Ama at ang mga panalangin na mahal na Inang Maria. Let's keep, keep praying for one another. Ingat sa pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you gave us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.